Hello, welcome to the Tuesday, September 21st, 2021 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. I briefly mentioned yesterday the increase in scans for port 1270, one port that is associated with the oh my god vulnerability, the open management interface issue that affected Microsoft's uh, open source implementation of uh, this uh, protocol, and of course, for the most part, uh, Azure users. Half of the scans uh, were originated by uh, researchers, as far as we could tell. Now, we may not have captured all the research IP addresses that are being used to scan the internet. Only uh, one particular group apparently attempts uh, to do some form of exploitation. The reason I call it uh, just uh, one specific group is that uh, they're downloading a second stage payload then using the vulnerability and uh, they're always using the same IP address. None of the payloads appear to be available. So this may really more be an attempt to see uh, which systems will reach out to the particular payload uh, URL. In addition, we have also seen a couple of simple attempts uh, to just uh, launch the ID or who am I command, again, just uh, to fingerprint the particular target and figuring out if it's uh, vulnerable. None of uh, these additional sort of exploits came from researchers. Again, as far as we can tell, researchers so far are just leaving it uh, with a simple port scan and maybe grabbing a banner. Census, one of the research groups and probably uh, one of the more established and respected ones uh, published that they only found 56 known exposed services worldwide. So very small number and kind of suggesting that this service isn't really used outside of Azure. And Apple today released iOS 15, iPad OS 15, Watch OS 8, TV OS 15, Xcode 13, Safari 15, and iTunes 12.12 for Windows. With those updates, of course, it came a number of feature improvements, but we also got a number of security fixes to go with it. Nothing super crazy here as far as uh, the patches go. Of course, updates uh, to WebKit. That's why we also got a new version of Safari, which uh, should help uh, older versions of macOS, which of course at this point also includes uh, Big Sur. Interestingly, they also list improvements to Face ID to make it more resistant uh, to uh, fake uh, faces uh, being presented or 3D models of faces being presented. Kind of interesting uh, code execution vulnerability in Apple's uh, neural engine that's uh, caused by a memory corruption issue. For Xcode, the only vulnerability that's being addressed here is that they essentially updated Nginx that's included with Xcode. And of course, with that, they did fix vulnerabilities present in the older version of Nginx that was in so far included with Xcode. Aside from patches, uh, there are also a couple uh, new security related uh, features included, uh, like, uh, for example, Apple's private relay, which is apparently some kind of a VPN service. It's currently in beta. Maybe I'll take a closer look at this uh, in a diary uh, tomorrow if I get around to it. Typically, Apple should also be releasing security updates for iOS, iPadOS 14 and watchOS 7 within a couple days, maybe a week or so, that will include the security content of these newer operating system versions. And I think it was just last week that I talked about the uh, remote code execution vulnerability in Manage Engine's 80 Self Service Plus. And this is critical because uh, this particular piece of software is used to self service password resets and the like. So certainly does provide access to an organization's network. The Cybersecurity Infrastructure Security Agency, CISA, has uh, now published information that this vulnerability is actively being 
exploited. In order to exploit the Warner Billionaire Hacker, will upload a zip file that claims to be an X509 certificate, so service.cer, but instead includes a web shell, so classic bypass of uh, the access control in order to upload this malicious file, and then just executing the Java server pages web shell to gain further access. And once they do have access to, again, according to the advisory from CISA, well, they do what you would do with a authentication system like this. They're trying to steal credentials. They're trying to add and remove accounts and pretty much do whatever they can in order to gain access to your network. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening. Now, someone asked about the August contest uh, with respect to guessing which location I'll be in August. I'm still trying to notify the winner. Uh, one a particular person posted to YouTube a real close location, but haven't had a chance to actually notify them or get good contact information. So in case that's you, uh, well, uh, send me an email or submit a contact form. That's it. Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.